Hello friends and family and welcome to the Sunday, September 27th edition of our boring meditation stuff. I wanted to go over an idea very quickly today um, and that idea is um, the notion that meditation has no spoilers and what this means is that um, as I'm sure you've already noticed if you've been practicing some meditation on your own, that other people's descriptions of meditation, uh, very definitely including mine, <laughs> are not accurate for you, that they are not representative, that meditation is very different for everyone, and that no one can spoil in the sense of spoiler for like a movie, no one can provide a spoiler for your meditation because they have no idea what it's going to be like. And the deeper your meditation, the less like it, other people's meditation it will be. Um, there are concrete stages, which is weird and surprising to find out um, along the way. And there are experiences which you may share with other people. Um, but the overall experience of meditation uh, generally can't be described. Um, I mean, the initial, the very initial, <laughs> oh, I can't seem to focus. My mind is wandering all over the place. Um, yeah, okay, that can be described fairly easily. But beyond that, um, most meditative experiences and even the consequences of meditation to some degree. The reason people keep meditating once they start, um, they are very difficult to describe and not necessarily even worth describing. Um, it's often better for people to discover these things for themselves um, through a direct experiential process, an empirical process. Um, so. That is what is meant by no spoilers. It's not a very complicated idea. So I'll close this video early today and you can get on with your Sunday. <laughs> All right. I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves and taking good care of everyone around them. I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.